Welcome back to Mr. Berman Makes and our series of making a house in make code. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at how to build these amazing steps around the outside, how we can rotate them properly uh, and get them in because you can't normally do this inside make code with just the normal code. We're gonna be looking at the set block command that we had a look at in the last episode. So let's dive straight into make code and get making. And here we are. And of course, we're gonna go over to our functions and we're gonna create a new function and we're gonna call this create steps. We're also gonna go and put in a number parameter and call that house length and say done. Now I'm gonna rearrange this a bit and I'm gonna rename the other function that had the steps in it because we're gonna separate these out. So I'm just gonna delete and steps from that. All right, let's go to the builder. Let's teleport our builder back to the origin, very important. And then we're going to set the builder off or offset the builder by minus one. Uh, so it's going backwards and zero for up and then right, so minus one. We're gonna offset this like we did our overhanging roof. So once we've done that, we're gonna do our repeat because we're gonna make our line code. So in order to do that, we need to go to our maths and we're gonna get our plus because we're gonna add two to the length to be able to have our border around the outside. So we'll just add two there. Then we're gonna to go to our builder and get the place block because we're gonna add stairs. So we click on it, we go up to search and we add in stair. And I'm just gonna choose the stone brick stairs. Then I'm gonna go back to builder and I'm gonna go move forward by one because we're just moving forward and it's only one, we're not moving left or right. So now that I've done that, we're going to get back to our loops and get another repeat. This is gonna be for our walls. So we're gonna repeat four times and then we're going to put that back in. Then we are turning left at the end of each line, just like we did with our previous code. And I'm gonna get my create steps. We're gonna put that in. We're gonna grab our length and duplicate it and stick it there. Once we've done that, let's go and have a look at that in action. And I can see that we have this weird kind of, the stairs are all facing the same direction and we have the offset issue around the outside as well. So easiest way to fix that is to just minus one off our addition there. Then let's have a look at these steps. So when we place them down in Minecraft, we can change the direction of them because we turn and then we place it down. But how do we actually change the turn of these steps? Because as we saw in the previous turnaround, they're all facing the same direction. And in make code, you can't ever actually turn them using make code code or placing them itself. So we have to go back to our set block command in order to do that. So let's bring up our command line with slash and set block. We're then going to put in our tilde key and then we're gonna type in underscore stair and we get some stairs coming up. Now I wanna go and use the stone brick stair. So let's type that in and I can see that it's there, that's great. Now here's the cool thing about Minecraft. We can actually change the rotation of stairs by typing in a number. And if we type in zero, that's the default, but we could type in one and we can also type in up to 15. It goes all the way from zero to 15. So let's try with zero and see what happens. And there's our block sitting where it was previously outside of our door facing the wrong direction. So let's go back. We're gonna do our set block again. You can press the up key to bring everything back. And we're gonna try one. Let's go and see what that does. Okay, so now we've got it facing the right direction. Let's try two. Okay, now it's facing the other direction, that's cool. And now let's try three. Okay, great, so now it's going the other direction. So we've got these different rotations. So let's figure this out. How are we gonna bring this into our code? Well, the first thing we've got to do is get rid of our place block out of there. And then we're gonna go down to text and we're gonna do that join text that we did last episode. We're then gonna to go to player and we're gonna get that execute command and we're gonna bring that into our repeat line code. We're gonna also add in a few more text bubbles for our join. We're gonna do exactly the same as last episode, slash set block. And then we're also gonna put in the space in the next one. And then we're gonna go down to the builder and we're gonna get the builder position and put that in because we want the builder to be driving the position. So we put another space in and then we put in our stone brick stairs with the underscores as the spaces. Now here's where we need to do something a little bit different. We've got to add in another space, but then what we've got to do is we've got to come up with our own variable here for the block data. So we'll make a variable called block data. We'll say, okay. And then we're also going to set that 
right at the start of our function to zero. We're gonna create a new variable because we need to know what side wall we're on. So we're gonna call that wall count. And that's gonna to be to determine whether we're wall one, two, three, or four. We're gonna set that to zero as well and bring that in. We are then gonna go and grab our change wall count and put that at the very start of our wall repeat. So it sets itself to one. And then we're getting our if else statement. We're gonna add four of these. So we've got four if and if else and all that. We can take the last one off. So we should have four blocks that we can place in there or four spaces. We go to our logic, we grab our comparison, which is gonna be the equals. And we then go back and get our wall count as our checker. So we're checking to see whether our wall count is equal to a number. I'm gonna duplicate that three times. So I have four and I'm gonna drag those into the statement the if statement to make sure that I'm checking whether wall count is equal to a certain number. And we're just gonna go wall count equals one, two, three, and four. Now that we've done that, we're gonna go back to our variables and we're gonna set block data. And we're gonna put that into each one of our if statements. So we're gonna duplicate that out, put it in, duplicate that out, put it in. We do that uh, three times. And uh, what was our code? block numbers okay uh, I'm back uh, so the code block numbers were one two zero and three in order to get them rotating in the right direction so let's drag that all back in just after our change wall count and then we've got to remember that we've also got to drag in from our variables the block data variable so that it's actually going to set the right number for the rotation that we're after so now let's go and have a look all right, it's there. We can see that our stairs are now facing the right direction as we go around the house. So that's looking mighty fine. And it looks much better than it did with the exposed foundation as we had previously. So what we're gonna be doing is continuing to build this house up and up and up and up. And we're going to figure out what we can do next episode, which is gonna be uh, to do with windows. We're actually going to move inside our house and we're going to break in and make some light options so that it's not quite so dark because it gets very spooky when you're in here with the door closed. And that concludes this episode on making our steps. I'm pretty proud of them and I hope you are too because they look very nice. With that though, happy coding and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.